All right, well, today we're going to do something I think is interesting, and we're going to disassemble a Retevis RT21 radio and take a look and see what's going on inside. Um, <clears throat> so this is a radio I got second-hand in a batch, and it's actually the uh, volume button has broken off on it, so no working Retevis radios were harmed in the production of this video this is a, a kind of defunct unit so I thought I'd make the most of it and see if we can have a look inside I'm going to be doing this kind of live on the radio I haven't disassembled before so this is going to be a work in progress I hope it will kind of work out now if you want to do this kind of thing I do recommend getting one of these kind of things I'll give a link in the uh, below the video this is like a little PC toolkit um, but it has these Little, um, like oh, not that one for this one's kind of screwdriver, and you can put lots of different um, heads on it, and it's pretty much any kind of um, screw head you might want. Plus, it's got some other goodies for kind of you know, kind of prizing things out and whatnot, brushing things off, tweezers, um, a little sucker for pulling things off. So just a bunch of useful stuff for doing this kind of disassembly. So I'm going to be kind of using this. And so back to this radio. So the first thing is taking off the, well, let's first of all, just take off this, this, um, the other um, button here. And this just, you just pull that off and it literally just kind of comes off like that. So we can take that off and kind of leave it there. Getting the antenna off, if you notice these radios, they kind of got fixed antenna because they're FOS radios and to get licensed they probably need a fixed antenna. But if you look closely, there's actually like a little, it's kind of getting fuzzy there, but there's this little kind of uh, screw thread thing here. And if you get just the right uh, head, and this is going to be a um, H116. Uh, I kind of measured it earlier. I think that's the right one. I'll pop it in the screwdriver thing here. Let's screw it up, and all we have to do is just pop that in there, turn it a few times, and there's a little uh, kind of screw thread thing comes out. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but now we can actually unscrew this antenna. So this is good if you want to put a different antenna on, one that's a little uh, better SWR or something. Okay, so we've got the antenna off. Um, so one thing I want to point out is if you look um, in here, underneath the where the knobs are, it's got these little kind of gold things with two little tabs on. And these are um, these are actually little, um, basically little nuts that really hold tight the kind of main unit into the plastic casing and they're often used on, I've seen them a lot on like Kenwoods and Motorola's and stuff and I kind of like this because this is kind of mark of a well-built radio that's got these on. Um, now sometimes they're a little difficult to get off, there is a specific tool and I'm not sure if I actually have it for doing this, right? If you don't have the tool you have to use something like this screwdriver that is kind of can be hazardous, you've got to really watch you don't just slip and then slice your finger or something. So let's see what I can do here. Yeah this one's coming off on the broken one and I'm just kind of nudging it round and you have to do that a few times and you've got to try and do it without. I'd really recommend trying to get the real tool for doing this actually. I should probably do that. You see that's come off. I can just kind of get that off there. And we'll keep kind of keep this in a little pile here. And uh, if we can get this other one off. Yeah, okay that's not too difficult. So um, again we just kind of wind that around and that comes off. Shake it down there. Um, okay that's freed up these connector things here. What we then have to do is take the screws the screws off. Now there's two screws here which are kind of like regular screws and then there's two which are the funny star shaped ones. So let's deal with the regular screws first of all. So I'm just going to get a regular screwdriver bit. Uh, try and find one that most will work here. I'll just pick out a random one and we'll get these two off. If you have the belt clip on then you'll need to take these two off for the belt, belt clip as well. But this actually releases this top bit. Now you've got to be careful here because when you take this off, there's, I know this because I did 
this is the first time I've done this radio but I did do it on another one which was also another kind of busted up one um, I'm going to take these out and you see there's this spring thing here for the battery you, if you're careful we might actually well there's a kind of spring we've got a, okay so that comes off but the thing not to lose is the spring so there's this little spring here and it actually goes on that little knob there and when you put it back together again that's what enables this to be able to do the um the springy thing like it goes into if you see it goes into those little things there and you press it you press it down it comes up and once you've got the other thing on top again you can okay, there we, are, we can get back on again okay right so you just got to make sure you remember that and don't lose this little springy thing so i'm going to put that down there then we have to get these two screws off you see one of them has this little thing over which we're voiding the warranty or whatever and doing it so i'm going to get this off and uh, put that one back and i'm going to use um my thing over here i'm going to use this one a t9h i think there's a couple of these would work but let's try this one and then we can okay it's going to be a bit tough but yeah get this one in here get this one off and see this one's under the label here we can either pull that label off i'm just going to use the this to just kind of scrape it out of the way so i'm not doing a very good job here Let's try and get that off of there so you can see it's revealing the other thing there and hopefully I can still get in here and yep get that one off. I've got lucky there's usually one screw that just won't come out but okay so now everything's off and we should be able to get it out. Again I'm going to use this and be careful when you're doing this kind of thing you don't hurt yourself but I'm just going to kind of edge that out a little bit see it's kind of you can just pull it up there and now these are released at the top so you can kind of wiggle gently wiggle this out be careful because there's a something connected for the speaker underneath if you're just careful we'll move it over you see so here we've got the speaker and uh, connected to the main radio SP plus SP mine so we've got the microphone here and and then we've got the you know the knobs for the PTT and so on here and the back here uh, you can see the kind of pcb on here it's pretty nice i mean it's just nicely it's a really simple little kind of unit you can see some of the components inside let's just take this off why not while we're here so i'm going to need a normal screwdriver again and we're just going to um gosh there's a, bun a whole bunch of these let's just see what happens when we pull these off and four, five, six, seven. like it's not easily coming off so um, maybe there's something else there yeah you see that doesn't, still doesn't want to come off, oh I missed one, there we go there's one right there, oh is that one? Or is that just, that kind of looks like something let me try this on that yeah, there we go. It's a different screw for some reason, just to make life difficult. And did we get everything now? Or did I still miss something? Still feeling some resistance there. So I'm just glad I'm using a defunct radio here, not one on a, See, I can do this for you, and then if you do need to do it on a working radio, you might have a better chance. Um, well, maybe it's the 
antenna thing here you see the antenna has a couple of screws in let's see if we can get those out that's pretty well on there let's see what happens when we take that off least oh yep yeah, and look the whole thing's coming off now all right i see what we've got under here so this what's going on here this is kind of soldered oh, oh that's interesting yeah it's not actually there's actually no way to i don't know how that's supposed to come off but this antenna is kind of a uh, connection that actually goes through the hole there i don't see any way to get it out so that's weird so not sure we can take that any further without doing any damage unless this whole maybe this thing comes off. Let's check that into that unscrew or something. Let's just try unscrewing that. I'm not damaging anything. Well, yeah, it looks like I think that's what's gonna happen. So this is gonna be a bit clunky, but I think this whole thing kind of unscrews off this maybe but it's really hard to get off well i'm not going to do it right now but if we did that i think we'll be able to get that off and then you can see i'm just going to kind of hold it up here we've got a nice little just nice little compact straightforward um circuit board here chips a couple of capacitors um, connectors. I don't know, it just feels to me really well built. Um, TYQ1V4. Interesting. Um, I don't know, it has the, the kind of build feel of a Motorola or a Kenwood or something, so that's promising. Anyway, that's it. The teardown of uh, the Tevis RT21. I hope you found that interesting.